Hey, what is up, my lovely nerds? This is Nerd with Productions coming to you live with some tutorials. Um, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to. In this, uh, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to use faction plugin, like the bucket plugin and stuff like that. Um, all right, so in order to create a faction, so first what you want to do is you want to create a faction. Creating a faction is very simple. I forgot I am more creative, so. Creating create a faction is simple. Um, to create a faction, you do f slash f create now um, boobs. But remember that this remember this is my single player world and this is a half faction. But yeah, so so don't mind about the boob part. Um, but only mind about that, which is says f create and then whatever you want to call. So that's how you create a faction. Now, if you want to change the faction description, which is you know mostly describes about it, mostly describes about the faction, or describes about who you guys are, um, is slash f space d e c d e s c. That that's cut short for description. Type in the description and stuff like that. Uh, next, if you want to change the name of the faction, it is slash f space now that is to that, now that is to change the name of your faction. So let's say your faction is boobs, but you know your boobs, but boobs, but you know you know you're getting like the mods or admins are getting mad at you because your faction is called like that, and you want to and they want to change it. And then you ask, how do you change it? Well, there you go. Such F tag. That's how you change it. Now, in order to add people, um, what you want to do is there's two ways they can add. I think. Hold on. Sorry about this. So one way is slash F open. Now, what open does is that it opens your faction so anyone that you know just want to join could join which is good because you don't have to like keep sending invites but it's kind of bad at the same time because you don't really know who like who who's gonna grief and stuff like that so yeah be careful that the, the other way the other way of adding a member into your faction is slash f invite if I can't spell now what slash if invite then slash if invite um, then player's name. Now slash if invite then player name um, adds well sends an invitation to that player. Then the player has to type is the player could type is two things, um, which is you know like once once you get once they get to this invitation they could do is slash f accept then the then faction name see you can see this is the one this is one way to accept it to one way to accept it or you could just do is just slash f join um faction name it's both the same thing but yeah pretty much um you know, it it is the same thing and stuff like that. Okay, so next one is the slash f help command, which is slash f help command. It will give you the list of the faction commands, so you can actually see it and stuff like that. So you know you so you know you know who's you know you know what the commands are. You don't have to keep asking the mods around and the mods or admins to like help you and stuff like that or helpers I don't know so there's slash f help there's you know there could be 21 pages it could be 10 pages you know all you have to do is to turn to that page that's f help space 2 uh, space 3 space 4 space 5 space 6 space 7 space 8 space 9 space 10 space 11 and so on, so on, so on and so forth. Um, the next one is like who you want to check 
like who's in the, who's in your ally and who's who's not in your ally who's in your faction and who's in who's allied you know who like what faction are you allied with this is the mo now you can do is slash f who which will only show you um but you can actually but it's actually the same thing um, as it's, it's actually the same thing because you it, it will show your faction and if you type in says f who like and then a faction can't spell faction name then that will show the other faction now it is the same thing as says f show which is this and it's the same thing it's the same thing pretty much because like it will show who's in your faction and who's allied with you or your show like the faction you're trying to look up at like who's allied with them and who's in their faction and stuff like that um yeah and that's really helpful because you know if you want to know who's you know in their ally i mean who's allied with them then there you go um sasf map uh shows like makes a map on chat of how many factions there are within the radius of you so if there is you know like if you see I think it's like plus or minus symbols no plus symbol is you um then I don't know what the symbols for faction is but yeah if you type in slash f map and you know let's say you see more than one faction then that means you know they're all like buttons they're all buttons together now Next, next one is says F um, promote or or mod. Says F promote or mod means like they get promoted to the next rank, which is well moderator, and then the next rank is admin, which is the owner. So, yeah. <clears throat> now, if you want to demo someone, it says demo. I think that's how you spell it. You want to demo someone, then you, then yeah, that's how you demo. Just type in size F demo, and then and then player's name, and then you could demo them. <clears throat> the next one is um, Lee. Oh yes. Oh yeah. Okay. Next one is F claim. Now, this is after you create a faction, after you, I mean, after you create a faction, after you add, like, actually, no, after you create a faction, you want to do is claim it before you add people. Because if you don't add people, if you add people before you claim it, then it's bad. Because you know, it, they kind of grief you. So F claim allows you to grief you. It is a 16 by 16 radius, uh, 16 by 16 block radius. So let's say it's from here where I'm standing to like all the way. Actually, I don't know. Actually, I don't really know what 16 by 16 looks like, but yeah, um, yeah, it's a 16 by 16 radius and stuff like that. Then you got. You got is and then next the next command is says F auto claim which auto claim what it does is that it pretty much like when you just like you know walking around it will pretty much claim the land for you which is like faster than just doing such F claim a lot but <clears throat> but it gets really annoying because you know because you might accidentally claim someone's house. And you're like, oh well, I don't know that I had F claim on. So I don't know I have F. I don't know I have auto claim on. So yeah, I'll, to turn off auto claim, you just type in the same thing again. It'll turn off. <laughs> um. Then next is to unclaim it. So it's, to unclaim it, you just have to type is says F unclaim. Now this will allow you to unclaim the 16 by 16 area, but when you unclaim that land, well, actually, actually, you can still claim it back, but you know, um, whatever. So 
that's how the, so yes, it'll unclaim the 16 by 16 area um, block block radius, then you know they then like their then like your allies will be able to will be able to build. Um, now next one is the slash um, f unclaim auto, or you could or. Or actually, it was a slash f claim, slash f unclaim all. Now, what's this? What, now, what this does is that it will claim, it will unclaim all of your faction. So you don't want to do this because this won't truly be hell if you do, because you will unclaim every single piece of your land, and you know people will start grieving. You'll be like, "What? Why is my stuff being grieved?" Because you unclaimed it. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm tired. Um. Yeah. So you unclaim it. So you don't want to do that. Now, if you're an admin or a mod that has, if you're an admin, admins totally have permissions. But if you're a mod that has permissions to do this, this is such F bypass. Now, what such F bypass allows you to do is it allows you to pretty much like bypass like the faction so you don't have to you don't have to on you don't have to like get you know you don't have to like go into the faction and do something you can just bypass the faction's rules and stuff like that and then you know um but that's only for um like that's only for you know um What was it? It's only for admins or moderators if if moderators do have the status of bypass, the permission for it. Next one is slash kick. Now slash kick then player's name. Now let's say that you know there's a player that you don't feel right about, so you know, then he griefs you. They griefs the faction and he leaves. He leaves, he, he grips the faction, and he's still on faction, and he's just like, you know what, I have enough of it, just kick you. So that's F-Kick will automatically kick that player out of the faction, and, I mean, the person could try to go, person could, like, try to go back in the faction, like, a lot of times, but, you know, that gets, that tends to get annoying, so, yeah. Um... Okay, so next one is says F set home. Now, what says F set home will just automatically set your faction home. So, like, you know, when you set your faction home, that means everyone in your faction could just type in such F such F set says F home, then they could be automatically teleported to the faction instead of you know. Instead of you know them teleporting to you, which is annoying, but it it kind of works. It well it it's annoying, but you know like you know once you set it up, then it's a breeze, and you have like room to do stuff on. Um, I'm sorry about this. Officer, um, you know, officer and leader are the same thing. Officer just allows you to. You know, boost up someone's like someone's like thing. When I say thing, like I mean, is that like you know they're allowed to like mostly just becoming a moderator on your faction. That's that's the thing. Like becoming a moderator on your faction, and you know, like they could help you claim land. They could help you kick people out. They could help you invite people and you know add people and stuff like that. Um, officer and leader is the same thing. If you, you know, you're tired of your leadership and you want to give your position up, which is, you know, such F leader. And then the the other one I was talking about was such F officer. Now, such F leader um, allows you to change the leader of the faction. So let's say that, like, um, So let's say that you. So let's say that, like you know, you're in a faction, and you're the faction leader. 
and then you just say, you know, you're getting tired of it, you're getting tired of the fact that you want to move out and stuff like that. Um, which will, the next one will be how to delete the faction. Um, but anyways, I'm talking about this. Um, then you want, you know, you want to give the peep, you want to give this person that you think is actually leadership wise in order to take care of your faction. So you give it to him and then there you go. That's about it. That's how you change leaders. You could change, you know, you could, you could like, get your leadership back from him or you could give your leadership to them to like the faction and then last but finally um, is your faction is to leave your faction so to leave is slash F leave now what this does is that you know you'll just you'll just leave your faction that's all I'm gonna say you'll just leave your faction and that's about it. That's about it. When you leave a faction, like there's, you know, you have no records in them and stuff like that. And you could also go back and create your own faction and like set it up again as you wanted to before and like, you know, like find a good place to and stuff like that. Um, there are a couple of things I haven't talked is like the money. Monies really don't really matter. I mean, you could kind of check it by slash typing slash f money. Um, it will only show your faction's money, um, but it's not worth it. I mean, I don't know why it's I don't know what it's used for, but <laughs> I don't know what it's used for, but yeah, that works. Um, and the other one was the set title. I think it was slash set. Hold on. Uh, no, I think it was just slash title. Yeah. Slash f title. Um, I don't know what this does. I mean, you could. I mean, in 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 this page that I always keep going back to, reference. Um, it says set a player title. Um, I don't know what that means. I don't know what it does. I haven't really used it. So, I mean, I don't think you need to use it. But if you feel like you want to use it, then you can use it. And stuff like that. I mean, I'm not sure what's it used for, but yeah. And oh, the last thing that I've been gone over is the slash f axis. Now, if I'm right, that's only allowed for allied members, or I think I don't, I don't remember. But slash f axis allows you to give you know access to your allies so they could kind of edit your land or they could kind of grief you so <laughs> yeah um let's say um yeah <laughs> yeah which is kind of it's good yeah it's bad because you know um because if you give if you allow like if you give access to your allies and you don't know about them they just allied you for no reason you allied them and you're just like Oh, sure, I'll ally with you. Then, you know, you allow them, you give them access to edit your faction and stuff like that, and they start griefing you. And then, well, that's your fault for, you know, that's your fault for um, trust, trusting the. That's your fault for trusting um, like you know, people that are in like different factions and stuff like that. <coughs> <coughs> So yeah, um, that is about it. Um, there are some there are some things I'm missing. Uh, there are some things that are missing. Uh, slash F is slash F list will show you all the factions that are in the server. Slash F player will show you the players like you know status. And slash F faction is. <coughs> so, <coughs> Stuff with that. So I said faction is just what shows you about so that show you about like your faction's information. But like I said, like, you know, it's the same thing as using such F food or such F show. Like it, it's it's still the same because like it's supposed to show your faction information or or like the other people's faction information and stuff like that. Yeah. Um and yeah, I think that's about it. If I am missing some things that you guys can actually, you know, um, it's, you guys can actually comment on this thing telling me what am I missing what stuff I haven't talked about and stuff like that um, 
anyways thanks guys for watching I hope this tutorial really helped you guys out with like with if you guys are having trouble with factions and stuff like that um, like I said I hope you guys like this if you guys do give this video a like if you guys thought this was helpful um, show it to your friends and stuff like that anyway thanks guys for watching and yeah I'll see you guys all later and cake. Bye. Bye, dudes.